It has been an absolutely insane week in AI. There's been so many really cool releases. And in this video, we're gonna go through 10 things that came out this past week. The first thing I wanna look at is 11 Labs version three. So this is their most expressive model yet. And this version has something that is really cool. So you can actually see like chuckles, laughing, hear, anticipation, excited. And we can add in these little terms, these little catchphrase things, and it will take on that tone, that expression. So you can actually control it. So we're going to click this okay, one here. Okay, so like I finally beat level 42 of that game I said I'd quit like a month ago. <laughs> and then for the final big scary mega boss, it's just <laughs> like some cute little bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see where they put in laughs, giggles, actually does that. So these examples are absolutely wild. So it actually understands context. It understands laughing, singing, whispering a lot better than before. So it wasn't able to do this before. Eleven Labs is advancing. It is amazing. Uh, let's try one more. Let's do this chuckle laughing. Not, not doing not this joke. again. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Please. I promise you'll love this one. Nope, no, 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 never again. The last 10 weren't funny, the next 10 won't be funny, you're not funny, and you never will be. How many 11 labs engineers does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Pretty wild stuff coming from 11 labs. You can now use VO3 in Leonardo AI. Think that might be the cheapest way to get access to VO3 now because plans start at like $10 a month. Google had a number of other announcements this week. So there is a new Gemini 2.5 Pro preview model, which came out two days ago. And as you can see on LM Arena, it has taken first place across the board under every single category, beating out Gemini 2.5 Pro preview from last month. So Gemini is beating Gemini. Google is also working on an AI tool that will answer in your style. The CEO of Google DeepMind said that they are actively working on the next generation of email. I just want to give you the exact quote he said, but he said it's something that would just understand what are the bread and butter emails and answer in your style and maybe make some of these easier decisions. Google also released this open source version called Google AI Edge Gallery, which I have a whole video on. And right now it is installable on Android. There's an iOS version coming. It is basically a way to run local large language models on your phone, no internet, no data, and it'll just run on your phone. And surprisingly, it works very well. Not to be outdone, ChatGPT announced that it can now connect to more internal sources and pull real-time context. So we are talking Outlook, Teams, Google Drive, Gmail, and more. So under ChatGPT, under settings, there's connected apps. We can actually connect our apps now. And I'll have a video about this upcoming this week and the best use cases on how you can use this. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything AI, I make AI videos on a day-to-day -day basis, so you can stay up to date as AI is changing rapidly. Everything you're seeing in this video came out over the last like seven days. It is absolutely wild. So subscribe, it is free. HeyGen launched AI Studio, which gives you access and control over voice delivery, emotion, and gestures. So here is an example. It is wild. Um, hey, I'm an AI to, hey, I have feelings too. It's so lifelike. I almost apologize to it for interrupting. <laughs> it gestured more in 10 seconds than I do in a whole Zoom call. The hand gestures, game changer. Absolute game changer. No, seriously, it is pretty cool. Microsoft announced Bing Video Creator, which you can access completely free, and it is using Sora because Microsoft OpenAI their collaboration, their partnership, their deal. So if you are on the desktop version, there is this tab for an image and it can generate our image for us. If we pick video, it says it's only available on mobile. So it will link you to the Bing app. You have to download it. And then from there, you can actually start generating Sora videos completely free. As a programmer, I love AI tools that involve 
programming. So this next one is from Mistral and they have a new thing called Mistral Code. It's a private beta and it will work with VS Code. So that's pretty cool. It goes through why they made it. I have signed up for the beta. I don't have access yet. Can't wait to try it. And I have gotta make my video on Claude Code still. I've had the max plan for a few weeks now, really putting it through its paces, testing it out to its fullest. Can't wait to do that. But Mistral Code, I can't wait. I love the idea of more models, more things that work directly with VS Code that you can just start programming with. Speaking of Anthropic and updates they made, you can also use voice mode on the Claude mobile app. So I have it here, just like Gemini, ChatGPT, there's a number of different voices you can select, and then you can have a conversation back and forth with the voice mode. Hey, can you talk to my YouTube channel about why they should subscribe? I cover AI content and I'm actually talking about you right now. Hey, YouTube viewers. If you're interested in AI content, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Claude got it right. You want to click the subscribe button? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Is there any breaking AI news that came out this week that you're interested in? What are your thoughts about all the changes that happen on a week to week basis? Do you want to see more videos like this? More like news styled videos compiling a number of topics all together in one video. Let me know what your thoughts are on this style. Do you guys want to see more? Do you want to see less? Don't forget to like the video if you like AI in general. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. And thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.